Hi, we're Savage Disney Pins. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rocky. Welcome to our channel. If you're new to our channel, on a Wednesday, we open pin mail. Also known as Pins Day. Or... Pins Day Plus for when Sarah opens other stuff, usually Disney related. Uh, always Disney related? Everything in our house is Disney related. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. All right, so what have we got in store today, Sarah? Is it a Pins Day or a Pins Day Plus? It is a Pins Day Plus, which usually means wishables. And that's... Lately, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's... <laughs> It's a pin slash wishable day. You can't call it pishable. Pish, pishable. That does not work. Pishable day. <gasps> we have something special too. Ooh, special. Now, I, not, special not to you, special to me. Rocky got me something. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Yep, so that's in here as well. Um, let's, uh, let's dive in. First pin! So most of these are trades, a couple of them. One of them was a purchase. I'll link all of the Facebook groups that I like to trade in down below. And then also you can find us on Instagram at Savage Disney Pins. I trade there as well as on our Discord server, which will also be linked below. We're like everywhere. You can find us everywhere. If you're trading pins, it's hard not to find us these days. We're everywhere. This first one was a trade with Sasha. I see stickers. Ooh, got a cool. Jasmine sticker. And then a little bit like Minnie and Daisy, like hanging out, chilling. Oh yeah, best friends sticker. Best friends. So the first pin that I got is a donut pin. And this is from the Box Lunch Lounge Fly set. Mystery box set, right? Mystery box set, yes. And this is, is this Daisy? Mm-hmm. Nice, she's got her uh, bow game. I mean, thanks Sasha for including a sticker for those of us, me, not in the know, because I was able to deduce by the picture on the sticker that this was a donut that embodied <laughs> the characteristics of Daisy. <laughs> this is the Chicken Little Fanny Pack from the Fantasy Pack <laughs> Mystery Bag Pin Set. Chicken Little. Man, they're stretching for that pun harder than a dad on a road trip. Um, okay, and the last pin we traded for is this Disney's California Adventure pin. Um, it has Mickey on it, and then it has like the mountain of Grizzly Peak and a train, and like Mickey's a conductor. This is a, it says on the back, Disney's California Adventure exclusive. It's a gold medal waffle back. <laughs> I don't think they have pins anymore that say Disney's California Adventure exclusive, so that's really cool. There's no year on it, but because it's that gold medal waffle bag, I assume it's older. I bet it came out around 2001 when California Adventure opened and Mickey was like saying, hey oh, da da da, we're going to California Adventure. I have like a Disneyland board and then I have a California Adventure board and then I have a Walt Disney, because we don't go to Walt Disney World as much, where we, I don't have as many pins. So all four parks are like combined into one for Walt Disney World, but I do have a separate one for California Adventure and Disneyland. So I'm really excited to add that one to my California Adventure board. You say that now, but looking forward throughout the next year as uh, you know, vaccines roll out and everything, Disney World might be on Sarah's horizon, you know, two or three times even. Two or three times? <gasps> what? I'm a coming, Florida. <gasps> oh, this was a trade with a fellow YouTuber, um, Melissa, over at Geeking Out with Melly Mel. And we actually did a live with her a couple times. A couple times, yeah. And she's fantastic. Follow her on Instagram too, because I don't know how she gets the like drop on these pins, but she is like- In the when know. A, yeah, yeah, when a new pin drops, she's like posting it. So I go to her Instagram page anytime I'm like, did a new pin come out? Cause like, she's got it there. So anyway, this was a trade with Melissa and I actually didn't know what I was getting in this trade. Oh, mystery trade. Yep, so she saw one of my pins that she really wanted and I was like, you know what? Just send me something. I had multiple of the pin that she wanted and I just wanted to, to help her out so, Kind of did a blind trade 
well, on my end of blind trade. Yeah. Um, Sarah, hey girl, thank you so much for trading with me. You the best. XOXO Mel. That's cute. She's got really pretty handwriting. Yeah, it's very fluid. Yeah. She's got a logo sticker. I don't know if you can see that in the camera because it's like iridescent. We highly recommend you go check out her channel so you can see that logo up in person. <laughs> yeah. It has the Deathly Hallows with Mickey ears. It does, yeah. That's super cute. So yeah, she does um, like Disney stuff, but also Universal Studios. She's big into Harry Potter, lots of pops and... She's got the corner on fandom. Yeah, yeah. The pin she sent me is this Anna and Olaf pin. And this is um, one of four of a um, like seasonal release. Quarterly release, if you will. But they had one, so this is winter, and then there was a winter, spring, summer, and fall, and they formed a circle. What do you think it is? Is it a wishable? Is it a new car? It is a new car. Yes. Is it a Lightning McQueen wishable? <laughs> <laughs> or like one of the transportation series wishables? Because, <laughs> yeah, oh my God, that I would might be, be let amazing. Down. <laughs> yeah. This is a trade with Kelly. And this is from the, um, the Beauty and the Beast wishful set. So you could get Belle, Lumiere, Cogsworth, and the Wardrobe. And Belle was the variant. So you could get Yellow Dress Belle or um, Blue Dress Belle. Was Beast the, the rack pin? Or rack, rack pin? <laughs> was Beast the rack? We know what we're talking about. The open, the open one out of a mystery bag? Beast was the open one, yes. I didn't actually buy any from this set, but then they started coming out and I thought that they were really cute, so I wanted to trade for a couple of them because I did have some traders. So I was able to trade for the wardrobe. She looks like an egg person. She's like the one of the squishiest. They're all like super squishy, but she is plush. Feel her midsection. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Soft, like a memory foam pillow. What we need to do is hook uh, uh, wardrobes up with um, carpets, <laughs> Aladdin <laughs> carpets, and do in every other. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it would be a nice cushy pillow. <laughs> I do still want Lumiere and Cogsworth and Beast. This so this is the first one I've been able to get from this set. So I want Lumiere, Cogsworth, and the Beast, and then I want blue dress bell. I don't really like yellow dress bell, but I want the blue dress bell. I kind of like that she's in her like, like dancing gown, formal party gown, and she's still clinging onto her book. <laughs> yeah, she has her book in her hand. <laughs> this next one I bought, I spent some money, but I waited for a sale. <laughs> this was an Instagram sale and she was getting rid of a bunch of fantasy pins. I'm really, really picky about my fantasy pins. Um, actually the rest of, the rest of what we're gonna show you in this video is all fantasy. But I'm really picky about them. And um, I think that that some of the artists out there are just doing amazing, amazing things with fantasy pins. And here are a handful of them. Let's see them. So there's, there's five pins in this bag. The first four are all from one series and they are these like villain babies? Yeah, villain babies. Villain babies. So we have, Hades. And I love that Pain and Panic are also babies. <laughs> <laughs> like that's really funny to me. That is. And he has his little his little flame in his hand. The next one, we've got Baby Maleficent. Um and you can't really make Diablo look like a baby, but like he's, he's smaller. Small. Yeah. <laughs> This one is Ursula with Flotsam and Jetsam as babies. <laughs> <laughs> Baby eels. Baby eels. Look at them. Well, they're so happy. And then the last one, she still had this one on like a little backer card. Um, it was the only one, but it is Jafar with Baby Iago. The very last one is big. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, it's huge. Yeah. So we have like, we've gone from the babies and now we've moved on to like the teenager. So here's like, so we have 
Jasmine as like a teenager. Well, the way Disney princesses are aged, would she just like be like a preteen because- She's a preteen, yeah. yeah. Okay, so she's like 12. Yeah, 12 or 13, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is when she gets Raja as a little cub. That's cute. I like yeah. that. I like that her dad hasn't gone gray yet in the picture. Yeah, <laughs> he looks the same. Yeah. In a previous video, which I'll I'll try to link back there if I can find it because I don't remember which one I made this promise. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. I promised Sarah that I would get her a fantasy pin. Kind of, but. There was a uproar in the comments saying that I need to get her a pin and not go cheap. So I got her a fantasy pin and I didn't go cheap. Uh, he did not buy this from the original maker of the pin. Um, it was an Instagram sale. It was, yeah. Okay, so just by the little drawstring bag that it comes in, I have a pretty good idea of who made the pin. I don't know who you bought it from, but who made the pin. Um, because the outside of the bag has pin designs that I recognize. Ah. Oh yeah, and little logo on it. So this is a Disney Chris pin, I'm assuming, if that's what's inside the bag. Wouldn't it be great if you like reach in and you drew out like the stick figure family pins that are like all fake <laughs> in the park? Somebody made a fantasy pin of the pig one, which is the chaser. Yeah, that's... But it's like this big. <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there's stuff in here. Thank you so much for your pin purchase. Enjoy, Lacey. Okay, so you bought it from at Lacey underscore Disney pin love. We'll put her Instagram down below. This is Roxanne from a Goofy movie. And this is the, I don't know what series this is from Disney Chris, but she they have like a whole bunch of tattooed princesses and characters. And this is kick-ass Roxanne. Oh my God, she has a lightning bolt that says eye to eye tattoo down her arm. What I really like is she's so metal that her pink guitar is actually a version of Dimebag Daryl from Pantera's signature guitar, which is like, you know, pretty hardcore, especially considering uh, it's Goofy movie. <laughs> What a random piece of knowledge you have in your brain. Hey, we all have different collections that we know way too much about. That just happens to be mine. <laughs> um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's huge. It's a limited edition of 60. It's a really good size, the size of my palm. The like, flowers are really cool. So they've got like that, like underside of the shimmer color. And then there's actually like a screen print of two or three different colors on top of that to give it that depth. That's really, really cool. The guitar is the same way. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. Her hair is a couple different colors too. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I keep my word when I remember. Well, that's all we got. That is all of the pins. We wanna know in the comments down below what your favorite pin was. I know mine. Well, better be that one. <laughs> it is that one. Good. It is that one. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button down below. For more content, click subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications when we come out with new content. Check us out on Discord and Instagram if you want to do some trading. Until next time, stay savage, everybody. Bye! Bye. your way as soon as I can. <laughs> Stay tuned for videos not featuring our living room. <laughs> I need help.